My guest is Geronda. Geronda, why are you here? I'm here today because I'm 19 years old and I'm stuck in an abusive marriage. When you say abuse, what kind of abuse are you talking about? My husband has locked me in a closet for six hours. He's fractured my jaw. He's blacked my eye. He, he's ripped off my clothes in public to like the point where my body was exposed to everyone that was outside. He's beating me up to cause me to have a miscarriage. Was he doing any of this before you got married? No, we were together for two years before we got married. He was the sweetest guy. It was no signs of him being abusive or anything. What changed him? I don't know. It was like three days after we got married. That's when it started. And you said he locked you in a closet for six hours? Yes. Why did he do that? We got into an argument. I don't even remember what it was about, but we got into a crazy argument. And I told him I was leaving, and he told me I wasn't going anywhere. So he pushed me in the closet and locked the door. And I was stuck in there crying, banging on the door, and he left. He just left me in the closet. And it says here, you said he fractured your jaw, blacks punched in the eyes, choked you, locked you in the closet, caused, caused a miscarriage and you get so scared, it says you have nightmares about this. Yeah, I have really bad nightmares. I've peed on myself, you know, like in the bed at night from having nightmares. I've jumped out of my sleep, scared. Sometimes when we go to sleep together, he touches me. I don't want to be close to him. I mean, honestly, I, I hear a lot of uh, stories of abuse, and this one is like kind of really shocking to me. I wish I could be there and stop this for you. So you're dating for two years and you're in a nice relationship and you say, I want to marry this guy. Yeah, he proposed to me. And I told him yes, and we got married. Everything was going fine for the first two days. And the third day, we got into an argument. I told him to freshen up for bed. My friend has been tonight. And he was like, why? Because you want to have oral sex with me? And I got mad, and I said some things to him. And he got up and just punched me in my face. So I, I got to ask you, why do you stay with him? Because we're young, and I feel like there is a possibility that he can be helped. Even if we stay in this marriage or if we don't, he needs help because it gets really, really bad. Now you said there's two sides. You want to tell your side? I'm willing to listen. All right. First time, we was going together for two years. Everything was going beautiful. Even though it was going great, but it was going beautiful, though. But after those two years, we decided to get married. We got married. Then, after three days after the marriage, we got into an argument. Then we got into a fight, she smacked me on my face, and I smacked her back. This is your wife we're talking about. Yeah, okay? it is my wife, but the thing she's doing that. But look. Here's the problem. Name calling and all that, you fractured her jaw, right? Yes. You blacked her eyes. Yeah, so, so she, she did. You see on my neck right here? Got scratches over my neck. I don't, my eyes, I don't honestly, I mean, she shouldn't put her hands on you, but I don't see anything on you. And, and again, why is it that if your wife hits you, and she shouldn't be doing that if she did it, but why can't you as a man turn around and walk away? Why do you have to punch a girl? You lock her in a closet for six hours? What were you thinking, locking her in a closet for six hours? She, she been pushing me into it. She pushed you into it. Yeah. Sounds like you pushed her into nah, it. Nah, she pu be pushing me into it. She pushed you into locking her in a closet for six yeah. hours. Because she wasn't cursing me out all kind of names, I wouldn't do that. Were you worried, like, maybe she needs to use the bathroom or drink of water, or maybe she's hungry? Nah, she just needs to chill out for a little bit, chill over there for a who little gives, bit. Who gives you the right time, that you lock another human being down. in a closet for six hours? You find out your wife is pregnant, and then you beat her, and you cause her to have a miscarriage. Yeah, she left me on the train while we was going to Brooklyn one day. 
She left morning you know train. What? I, you know what? Look, I, I, I'm not interested look, in anything you got to train. say about it. I fell asleep on the train. I, who gives she a damn? She, she I don't give a damn. She was out for three days. You caused the, she the, took you my caused money out of my pocket. You she was out for three days. And your she came own back talking about she's pregnant? Your baby. Your baby. Does that affect you at all? What, what, what story could you possibly say I, to I make you... I know that's my baby. I, I know that. This is a woman that you say, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. And then you treat her that way? Make the way she treats well, me. Well, then if she treats you bad, then you leave her and you get out of the marriage. <laughs> I want to bring your wife back out. Let's bring Geronda back out. You know what? We can, you know what? We'll just stop. We ain't going to do anything. You want to see your wife? I'm not going to let your wife come out until you get your ass out of my chair. <laughs> he hits you because you call him names. That's not, it is not an excuse to put your hands on me. It's not an excuse. That's why, that's why you. It's not an excuse. That's why you. It's not an excuse to fracture my jaw, no matter how smart my mouth is. No. And you sitting up here smirking about killing my baby. Is you was you pregnant? Yes, I was. You uh, kissed my stomach every day. Oh every God. day I told you I was pregnant, you kissed my stomach. You up here smirking, thinking that a nice shirt and some dress pants make you look like a man. You look what like a mean? dummy, just you, like he you, said. You, you, would make you look me like feel a like dummy, like just like he said. said. You would make me feel like a... I ain't gonna put my hands on. Why well, you you're not? You would make... I ain't gonna talk about this. Don't you don't want to talk about it, but... Why are you walking away for? Because you wrong. That's, the, wrong, that's so the coward's way. Away? Follow him, follow him. Sleeky, I hope, I hope for your sake, as soon as I get done throwing your ass out of my studio, that you grew up to be some kind of man. And that you grew up, you came here for help. The things yeah, that came, you've done came, are came, too crazy. Came, I'm not help. gonna help Look. you work out things with your wife because I don't want your wife to be with you. Goodbye and get off my stage. I want you to come with me. There's times, like, I have fun with the show and I'll have a funny story or something, and I enjoy doing the show. But honestly, it is shows like this, and it does wear me down. And I feel worn out at times listening to the story. You are too beautiful. You're too nice of a girl to put up with some man doing that to you. And I, I do mean it when I say to, I wish I could have every young man why do we have to be teaching this lesson to keep your hands to yourself and don't do this to somebody you love? Do I have to teach, to tell, does anybody have to tell him not to lock his wife in a closet for six hours? Do I really need, to, you hear a man say, whether it's your baby, his baby, anybody's baby, it's a baby. Why would we do that to a child? Anybody that would have no regard for your condition being pregnant and to smirk and clown about it, you don't need to spend any effort, any one more second with that man. <laughs> Be an example for every young woman out there that might watch the show and say, I'm gonna stand up and I'm never gonna let a man do this to me ever again. Honestly, okay? <laughs> yeah, I want you to be strong. I don't want you to be with the man. All right? Thank you. And my promise is we're going to bring her back. We're going to let some time pass. We're going to bring her back, and we're going to see if you went back to him, okay? Okay. And we're going to get you counseling and get you some help so you can start a nice, fresh start, okay? After the show, we received this email from Geronda. Since I have left the show, I have been doing so much better. Me and my husband are not together, and I'm much better without him. Your words of encouragement have really made an amazing change in my life. Thank you so much, Steve, and may God bless you for what you have done for me. Thanks for the email, Geronda. Just like I promised, I'm bringing you back for an update to make sure you're on the right path. Keep it up, and I'm proud of you.